Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. Let's start with adding polynomials. When we're adding polynomials, just we remove the bracket and then collect like terms. Let's do this example. 5y plus 3 plus bracket 6y plus 4. We are adding two polynomials. So what we need to do, we just drop the bracket. So let's do that. So this equals to 5y plus 3 plus 6y plus 4. So we just drop the bracket, we remove the bracket. And then now we have to collect like terms. Let's see what are our like terms here. I have 5y here and 6y here. These two are like terms. And then this constant term and this constant term, they are like terms. So let's add them up. 5y plus 6y. I write down the variable and then I add up the coefficients. So 11y and then 3 plus 4. That's just positive 7. This is our simplified form of this expression. We add, we add it up to polynomials and we got this answer. Let's do another one. 6x minus 3 minus 1. That's our first polynomial plus bracket negative 3x plus 5y plus 12. So the first thing we need to do is to just remove that bracket and drop that bracket. So this equals to... 6x minus 3y minus 1. So I drop this bracket. So plus minus 3x is just minus 3x. And then plus 5y plus 12. And then the next thing we need to do is to collect like terms. So again, this 6x and this 3x, they are like terms because they have the same variable. If you're not comfortable with finding, identifying like terms and how to add and subtract them, you can watch my other video. I'll put the link up here. So this 3y and this 5y are like terms as well. And then this constant term and this constant term, they are like terms. So let's add them up. So 6x and negative 3x. We write the variable and we subtract the coefficient. 6 minus 3 is 3, so it's 3x. And I have negative 3y, positive 5y. We write the variable and we subtract the coefficient. So negative 3 plus 5 is just positive 2. So plus 2y. And then I have negative 1 plus 12, which is just positive 11. That's our answer for this expression. Let's move on to subtracting polynomials. So when we're subtracting polynomials, what we need to do is we need to rewrite the first polynomial and distribute the negative into the next polynomials. So look at this example. I have 6x plus 4 in bracket minus bracket 3x minus 6. So what we need to do is to rewrite the first polynomial. So let's do that. 6x plus 4. And then we have to distribute this negative into this next polynomial. I have to distribute this negative into this bracket. So I have to multiply negative by 3x and then multiply it by negative 6. So negative times 3x, this negative is, you know, it's just negative 1. So negative 1 times 3x is just negative 3x. Negative 1 times negative 6, that's positive 6. And now we can collect like terms. The 6x and this negative 3x, they are like terms, and these two are like terms as well. So 6x minus 3x is just positive 3x. 4 plus 6 is plus 10. 
this is our simplified version of this expression. Let's do this one. I have 4x plus 3y in a bracket minus bracket minus 5x plus 7y and minus another polynomial x minus 9y. So how do we do this? We do, we just follow the same steps. We write down, we write, we rewrite the first polynomial. So let's do that. 4x plus 3y and then I have to distribute this negative into the next polynomial. I have to distribute this negative into this term and then to this term as well. And then I have to do the same thing for this, the second negative as well. So I have to distribute this, multiply this negative into this first term and then multiply it to the second term. So negative times negative 5x, that's positive 5x, negative as we said, this is just negative one. Negative one times seven y is just negative seven y. And then over here, negative times x is just negative x. And then negative times negative nine y is just positive nine y. And then now we need to collect like terms. So for this four x, this 5x and this negative x, they are like terms. This 3y, this negative 7y, and this 9y, they are like terms as well. So let's collect them or combine them. So this equals so 4x plus 5x, that's positive 9x. And then I have a negative x. So positive 9x minus x, that's positive 8x. And then we have... 3y minus 7y, so 3y minus 7y, that's negative 4y, and then we have a positive 9y here. So negative 4y plus 9y, that's positive 5y. So this is our simplified version of this expression. Let's do another one. I have 11x minus 6y plus 12 minus bracket 5x minus 3y minus 6. Again, we have to rewrite the first polynomial, 11x minus 6y plus 12. And then we have to distribute this negative into the next polynomial. So I have to multiply this negative by the first term, by second term, and then by the third term. So let's do that. Negative times 5x. Again, this is just negative 1. Negative 1 times 5x, that's negative 5x. then negative 5x and negative 1 times negative 3y is positive 3y. Negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6. Now we have to collect like terms or combine like terms. So this is 11x and this negative 5x, they are like terms. And this negative 6y and this 3y, they are like terms. And then we have this constant term and this constant term, which consider like terms. So let's collect them. So 11x minus 5x, that's just positive 6x. Negative 6y plus 3y, that's negative 3y. And 12 plus 6, that's just positive 18. So this is our simplified version of this expression. Thank you for watching.